Good day, my plant foldies. This is Richie at Grow Folds, and today we will be big box store plant shopping at Walmart in Prosper, Texas. So this was a Walmart that I visited a while back, and since all Walmarts in the DFW market seem to be getting restocked, I'm going to see if they have any new plants available for us to take a look at. Hopefully I don't end up spending a lot of money, but you know how it is. And thank you all to the Grow Folds um, subscribers and the Plant Foldies, which is what I call my viewers, for always tuning in the live chats. It looks like the live chats are getting a lot of new people just participating it. So please feel free to participate in the chat. Say hi. Um, also make sure they hit this, the like button or what Luke says, smash the like button. But yes, we are about to walk around this corner and see if there's any new plants. I know last time the um, the health of the plants weren't that healthy, but let us see. And you can already see from the get-go, boom, there is a philodendron golden crocodile. So those are back in stock. And I, I believe I see four. There's a whole full um, table of just exotic angel plants and just a bunch of um, ZZ Ravens and ZZ plants in general. We have a bunch of cactus. So we have a bunch of alocasias by Growers Bench, which is basically wild interiors, just the rare varieties of alocasias, phil philodendron pink princess. We've got some pineapple bromeliad, some assorted succulents, anthuriums. I always say that Walmart has the best anthurium, some Venus fly traps assorted succulents and just a bunch of plants. I wanted to pan over here and we have even more plants right over here. We have a bunch of um, begonia macalata, some um, calatheas, some more ZZ plants, some more Costa Farms training tropicals, sago palms, um, sansevierias or snake plants and some more um, aglonema. And then we have another shipper full of exotic angels. So we're going to take a look at that in just a bit. I just wanted to pan over and show you just a general overview of all of these plants. And we even have more plants right over here. Granted, this um, Walmart isn't nearly as full as the other one, but nonetheless, this is very impressive considering um, this Walmart didn't really have a lot of plants to begin with. Um, I know that they had one philodendron you know, philodendron uh, golden crocodile that needed to be saved. I'm not sure if it was, but we have four more new ones here. And right off the bat, we're just going to start looking at some of these plants. But I did want to pan over and show you this. And in Plant Foldies, thank you again for tuning in. We are growing our community at a rapid pace, and I am so excited for it. It just makes me more inspired to do these daily plant video plant shoppings. Um, right over um, here, we have a philodendron golden crocodile for $19.84. Look at how beautiful this is and look at that new growth right over there. It's got more of a yellow orange look. Um, I just love my philodendron golden crocodile that I bought about a month ago. It's already pushed out two new leaves and it's um, doing very well. I don't have to guess when to water it just because Costa Farms did amazing by doing those self-watering planters, especially for the... Um, the trending tropicals line. I mean, these plants, sometimes we overwater them, sometimes we underwater them, but with the self-watering planters, you just put a little bit of water in the reservoir and then we are good to go. But I, you can just see that this one will definitely light up a space. I love yellow neon plants. This goes well with like a neon pothos, a neon, um, not a neon, a lemon lime, um, philodendron heteraceum. And what is this? Oh my gosh, this is another trending tropicals I haven't seen. This is a uh, Tridscanthia roxo. I don't know if that's how you would pronounce it, but I have never seen this Tridscanthia. But look at this. We were just talking about yellow foliage um, leaves. I have been all about the dark foliage leaves as well. And this one has like a very dark purple undertone, just like a Tridscanthia typically does. And then look at how beautiful the dark leaves are on top of this Tridscanthia. So, um... I meant to not buy any plants, but today I'm definitely going to have to buy this one just because I have never seen this um, treading tropicals. And I like Tredscanthia. They're easy to grow. They're easy to propagate. And this has a larger leaf to it. Um, I recently got a Tredscanthia nanook, but this one would just be awesome to add to my dark foliage collection of plants. I've been collecting quite a bit of those as of late. I have a Philodendron Black Cardinal. I have a Raven ZZ. Um, and now I will be adding a Tredscanthia Roxo to it. But look at how right next to the Philodendron Golden Crocodile, how beautiful that is. Oh, and I also have a Philodendron um, Golden Violin. So I have a bunch of yellow neon plants. And now I will be growing um, my darker foliage plants, my black plants. That's just 
amazing and this is also for 1984 i'm not really worried about tradscanthia they're just super easy to grow um they're easy to propagate you can literally just cut a cutting off put it in water or even just directly in the soil and it'll root within a week the only thing about tradscanthia is it they do get leggy so it's always best to um, prune them anyway so you can keep this bushy form um, you can have it in a hanging basket and let it trail but again you just have to look out for it getting a little bit leggy so just trimming will do that but right next to the phil philodendron golden crocodile it is just amazing and right over here we have a monstera cobra or monstera um, studliana albo this plant right here used to be a fairly rare plant about three to four years ago and now we can find it at big box stores really like it it's an actual easy grower easy um plant and i love that you know costa farms trending tropicals has it available for the masses and then we have a bunch of raven zizis right over here i've been seeing so many raven zizis available and you know what I actually love this plant just because it's probably one of the easiest plants to take care of now that it's also in a self-watering planter. Um, now with Raven ZZ or just ZZ plants in general, they don't like to be watered too much. Overwatering will actually kill it. Um, watering it, it's bone dry and actually it can take a little bit of underwatering as well. But I do love the dark raven foliage. I think it's the darkest um, foliage I've seen on any plant so far. And right over here, we have some ficus ginseng bonsai. I was all about bonsai growing up. And you know, this bonsai, it's basically just relying on the really thick trunk. There's not really a lot of like shape to it, but nonetheless, it's it's a cute little bonsai. It says to add a couple of wa waters. To water it, you just add a couple of, um, ice cubes five ice cubes don't do that um it, it'll just shock the plant's root system with such cold um water you want to um, water it with like you know room temperature water and right over here we have a beautiful Diphenbachia. i'm going to say this is a Diphenbachia camille for 9.97 very healthy looking Diphenbachia. definitely a fan of Diphenbachia. i just don't have a single one in my collection so far i'm a little bit weary just because i don't know if i can provide it the bright indirect condi light conditions it, it really requires and then we have a dracaena janet craig compacta this one is a very common plant to find this one's for 9.97 now plant foldies do you guys like the um, janet craig compacta i know that i pretty much feature this one in every um video which i do for the ones that are new to this channel i um do plant shopping videos at least once a day um usually around seven or eight o'clock um central standard time is the live premiere i was attempting to do two videos but it got a little bit hectic if i'm able to catch up on my schedule i might um, increase it to two but this one right here we're looking at is an Epipremnum arium golden pothos very classic plant this one's for $9.97. It's one of the easiest plants to take care of. And right over here, we have an exotic angel um, green prayer plant. I really like this green prayer plant just because I like the dark um, patterns on the leaves. It looks like somebody took some brush strokes and just painted it on. It's just amazing how they have that um, unique um, pattern on the leaf and then right over here we have a croton petra i love crotons it, like i said before it is one of those love hate you either love them or you hate them um, there's not really in between for um, plant lovers or plant ha plant haters with crotons and right over here we have another beautiful plant this one is a dark mystery palea i might actually end up getting this one at this particular location because if you put it right next to any dark foliage plants they are really nice i know i saw another one um, called a palea pan am so those are two Palias I do want to add. I ended up getting a Palia aluminum plant, but the dark mystery one is really nice looking as well. Since it says it's ideal for um, terrariums, I'm pretty sure it's going to need a little bit more um, humid humidity. And right over here, which is what I've already gotten, is a purple waffle plant. I love these purple waffle plants. Now, all of the pricing for this one, I think it's for $5.48, just because it's in a little bit more of a fancy catch pot. The white... Um, planter they also have one that's bear planter but the ones that like this one right over here is a bear planter one this one's for 497 i love aluminum um plants or palias um i just love the silvery foliage 
and it's just really nice with all palea or just these types of plants you do need to go trim them back down otherwise they get a little bit leggy they're easy to propagate though and then right over here we have a pink angel fetonia um, this one's actually in bloom do you see that it's actually blooming that signifies that this plant is happy and it's um, fairly mature for it to actually bloom i do like the smaller um, foliage and the um, pink veining of this particular fetonia i might add a fetonia to my collection soon um, i do have a pink wave in a hanging basket that i got on clearance at lowe's so that's the thing when you go big box store plant shopping you can really see some really nice looking plants for a very good price like i'm just going to look at this aluminum plant here these are super healthy and that's the thing though when you know a big box store has restocked that is the best time to go shop for plants just because they are at the healthiest that they can possibly be from transit and just sitting in a big box store um, give it a couple weeks they might end up starting to decline in health it just really depends on the big box store whether they're going to be um watering them i know they don't go into the full detail of actually cutting down um dead leaves mostly it's grocery stores that do that but you know i'm not going to sleep on walmart you know walmart is already providing us with a bunch of um, beautiful plants like that um croton gold dust and then i love 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 the pink and uh, you know this pink plant which is called a snow white waffle plant mine is doing extremely well it is not crisping or browning um this one is for 4.97 so if you want a beautiful pink plant run to walmart especially if you're in the dallas fort worth area definitely check out your walmarts i've seen some plant foley's already commenting about certain plants being available in their area um like this one right here is a beautiful marble queen pothos but like i was saying again you know plant foldies let's grow the community follow me on instagram at grow folds tag me on your photos and also use the hashtag hashtag grow folds hashtag plant foldies so we can connect each other i would love for us to like um post pictures of plant finds especially ones that you find at big box stores or if you want to show your um, plant collection like i said again this plant channel started out as a plant shopping um video channel actually it was an asmr origami video um channel but now i would really like to grow a actual community for people that are into plants especially for novice and beginner plants i want to try to give you guys some more like plant care tips and then obviously our plant community the plant foldies on the live chats ask any question i'm sure somebody will be able to give you an answer but I've been just looking at these exotic angels. This one right here is a purple um, passion plant for $4.97. I have one of these as well. And they it, it is actually doing very, very well. I love that dark foliage. And then right over here, we have a snake plant by Costa Farms for $4.97. I like snake plants. You know, most people will say they are super easy. I think they're super easy because they can grow in lower light conditions. And then we have another snow white waffle plant. Now with a snow white waffle plant, definitely give it a lot of bright indirect light. They do require a little bit more humidity. So mine actually sits in front of the kitchen window right next to the kitchen sink. So there is quite a bit of humidity that it gets throughout the day just because we're always using the kitchen and there's always water flowing. But as you can see, this is really nice. I do like the plant styling at this um, Walmart as compared to the previous one that was super packed. I like that they put all of the ZZ plants together. And these ones are um, plants with benefits. That's actually Walmart's um, branding of it, but it is in a self-watering planter by Costa Farms. Um, this one is for $14.97. So all of these self-watering planters right here are for $14.97. So plant foldies or anybody watching the channel, do you have a lot of self-watering planters? I'm really loving them just because it takes the guesswork work of um, having to water a plant. Um, this one right over here is a Peperomia obtusifolia golden or a variegated ob Peperomia obtusifolia. This one is for $4.97. I do like the... Um, the beautiful variegation of it that um that cream variegation and that one's also an easy to um, care for plant and then we have some shiflera right over here i ended up buying this actually this week this is a shiflera moon drop um this one has a little bit more um subtle variegation in the white leaves it'll be very interesting to see um how large this shiflera will get if it unless it's one of those um miniature ones or more like dwarf varieties so we'll see but i have been collecting a little bit more of those smaller exotic angel 
um, plants just because they are good starter plants. If you're a plant foldy or a viewer, do you actually go to big box stores and like collect all of them? Let me know in the comments. Let me know in the chat. Um, I'd love to hear from you. And then right over here, we have another Trending Tropicals. This one we've seen quite a bit. This is a Monstera Peru. Um, this one is for 1984. I love the Monstera Peru just because the leaves are very thick. Um, this one is also one that just requires bright indirect light. This one actually has a lot of vining. You can actually propagate it if you were to buy that particular um, Monstera Peru. These are easy to care for plants and it's just amazing again to see all of these um, trending tropicals be easily accessible to the plant masses because a couple years back they were quite uncommon or rare and they actually cost um, quite a bit. So 1984 is not bad at all. And then we have this um, Diefenbachia right over here. This one probably needs a little bit of water. It's starting to be a little bit droopy. Not 100% sure what the plant ID is for this one, but nonetheless, it is, it is a beautiful Diefenbachia. I am a fan of Diefenbachia for sure. Um, this one right over here, we actually have some nice looking Monstera Deliciosa. So, um, you know, as of late, Monstera Deliciosas haven't been looking that great. It looks like some of the new leaves that unfurl have some damage. But these ones are really nice. There is a sea of them right over here at this Walmart. I know a lot of Monstera Thai constellations are available right now. Monstera um, Albos are a little bit more um, cost effective, so you can afford those. But I still urge people to get a Monstera Deliciosa, this green form, which is really the original one that we've seen um, for houseplants. The only thing is with Monstera Deliciosa, not only do they require a little bit more bright and direct light, know that they will grow know that they will not be this um, size and they will take up a lot of space so just make sure your space conditions are um you know applicable for this plant and then right over here we have another trending tropical this one is a raffidophora tetrasperma um this one definitely needs a pole or something to climb on its natural inclination is to actually grow up versus trailing down so definitely consider that and that one's for 1984 this one is for 1497 this is a beautiful bromeliad i do love that um pink on it it looks like somebody had just taken a spray can of spray paint and spray painted pink it's the same thing with the red over here i love the bromeliad Bromeliads, you know, for bromeliads, you definitely want to look at at least this form. You definitely want to look at it from a top view so you can really admire the beautiful um, color. But these Monstera Deliciosas are looking nice. There's a lot of new growth points. And that's the thing. When you go big box store plant shopping, not only do you need to inspect the plant for like pests, if you're able to find a plant that has like a new leaf unfurling, definitely grab that because then it signifies that the plant is well established in its plant, a planter, and it's just healthy. Um, speaking of healthy, look at how beautiful this bromeliad is. I always like to, uh, you know, zoom in on the blooms. I love that. It has a natural shine to it and i've said this before but walmart has the best anthuriums in the market so far so this one right over here is for 14.97 um not a bad looking one and what i like about it is not only that the blooms are beautiful but just the green foliage i love the um, arrowhead type shape it feels waxy almost like a hoya it's just really nice and we're going to pan over here. So it looks like this one has already been picked over. A lot of people have already bought a lot of these plants, which is a good sign. But we're going to go ahead and show up some of these plants right here. This one is a white Anne um, Fetonia plant. I do like the white veining of it. Now with Fetonias, guys, they do require a little bit more higher um, humidity conditions. They definitely want to um, not dry out completely. So make sure that you keep the soil moist. And the same thing with this fluffy ruffle um, fern. That, that definitely needs some humidity. Um, now this right here, this Rex begonia, which I'm considering of buying. I like the, the actual um, pattern of this begonia. Their leaves, their stems do not like to get any type of water on it. Otherwise it will crisp up or may um, actually rot. So you want to grow, grow a begonia Rex, let it um, get dry, bone dry completely. And then you want to bottom water a Rex begonia versus top watering. And then we have a purple plant right over here purple waffle plant right over here this one also needs a little bit more humidity not too much but it also doesn't like to um, dry out completely so keep the um, soil moist we have a chiflera right over there moon drop we have a mame croton this one is for 548 not bad at all like so all of these exotic angel plants these are good starter plants i would recommend you know with um, crotons to really grow them outdoors they really require a lot of bright light they're not really an indoor plant or they don't do as well indoors unless you can provide them um, bright indirect light lots of light actually now this one this um, gold crest false aurelia is probably one of my favorite aurelias that i would love 
love to add to my collection. The reason being is not only does it have that green on green foliage um, variegation, but I love the fact that the um, variegation is actually outlining the leaves. Um, it's like somebody took, you know, some crayons and actually just colored in the um, the actual space and then took another um, color and just outlined it. So I really like that. This one's for 548. With Aralia, it also just likes bright indirect light. Although it can tolerate lower light conditions, it will just have a slower growth pa um, pace for it. Um, and then right over here, we have another um, Croton Mame. Love Croton Mames. Um, they're very beautiful plants and you know their variegation or coloration is actually influenced more so with the amount of light you give it. And then we have some more anthuriums right over here. I'm going to walk over here because I did see some more trending tropicals by Costa Farms. And whoa, do you see this? You already know I, um, I've been looking for a philodendron tortum. So it looks like there's three of them. But with the philodendron tortums, they've just been coming out a little bit damaged. So I don't know if anybody's bought a philodendron tortum at Walmart. If you were able to find one that was pretty healthy, like this one is okay. Um, although seeing a philodendron tortum for the first time um, really doesn't really give me the wow factor. I know that they have some cool looking leaves, but I'm not so much into like these delicate looking leaves. I suppose if it gets bigger and larger in size, that would be super cool. But you know, normally like this one, I would actually buy if I was going to buy it. But today I'm not just because I don't want to spend 1984 on this Tortum, I might regret it in the long run just because everybody has been looking for the Tortums and there's three of them at this Walmart. But, you know, I'm already getting that Treadscanthia rock, um, uh, Roxo. So we will see if I'm going to get this Tortum. But this one actually is a decent looking one. Um, let me know if you guys grow Philodendron Tortum in your collection, what the care tips are, um, how large do they get, and are they a slow grower, medium, um, moderate grower, or a fast grower. This one's unfortunate, though that one is actually pretty damn. I'm going to put these out here for just a little bit and make a decision on whether I want to buy these philodendron tortums. Um, they are nice, but I don't know. This one, though, is probably the most perfect um, Skindapsis trubii moonlight I've seen in the self-watering planter. Like, again, like I said, again, I am going broke buying these plants. I really need to stop buying plants. But this is another one I would actually buy just because it is really healthy looking. I do like the look. They are easy. You know, Skindapsis um, trubii moonlight, you just need to give it bright and direct light. Their um, growth habits are the same as like a pothos ivy. But the only thing is you um, they are slower growing. Um, so yeah, that's the only drawback, but they're easy to propagate. And, you know, speaking of, um, pothos, they're right over here. My, one of my favorites, the global green pothos. I love the green on green variegation on it. Um, look at that. Actually, this one isn't a global green. And the only reason why I say that is I see a little bit more yellowish, um, variegation. It's, um, a label global green, but I do think that this is a, a lemon meringue pothos because the leaves aren't nearly as big. And um, yeah, this one is a lemon meringue. This is a true global green because you can see right off the bat, the, the green on green variegation is very much pronounced and the leaves are a little bit larger. This one is actually trailing. These are nice looking pothos. Um, I love global green pothos. These were super rare about three to four years ago, like a one leaf, one node cutting was like selling for $50. And yes, I was one of those that wanted a pothos. So I ended up spending that money when I could have waited a couple years back. Um, this is a true lemon meringue pothos. So lemon meringue pothos was actually a mutation that Costa Farms actually um, patented and got, you know, in masses from the Global Green Pothos. The Global Green Pothos actually came from Japan. It was a mutation that was um, found in Japan and it made it to the United States and then just all over the world. And now it's trending tropicals at a Walmart. These are all for 1984. Um, now, all of these pothos I've shown you so far, even though they can tolerate lower light conditions, highly recommend giving them as much bright and direct light. Grow them under a grow light. You will get some beautiful variegation. It's influenced on the amount of light you give it. And now right over here, this is a, it's an okay looking Monstera Adansonii. The one I bought actually has very wide form leaves and it's a lot more full. Now, Monstera Adansonii, they, they really need to be growing upwards, so up a pole to get the maximum size but people do grow them as hanging baskets when they hang the leaves get smaller and smaller as they trail down 
And right over here, we have some more healthy looking Calathea. That is a beautiful um, lavender pattern, you know, pink pattern. And then we have this Calathea Dottie right over here. I do like the Calathea Dottie as well. Um, I have three Calathea in my plant collection. I have a Calathea White Star, Calathea or um, Orbifolia, and what else do we have? A Calathea Macuyana. But these two would I would be one that I would add to my collection. Um, they haven't been as fussy for me. My Calathea or Tusifolia actually does get a little bit droopy when I forget to water it. It doesn't like to have its water, um, its soil dry out completely. So just FYI. And then right over here we have a bunch of Begonia Maculata. This one's for 1984 Trending Tropicals. Um, I am on the fence about getting a Begonia Maculata just because I feel like there it, it definitely needs to grow up a steak and it's just a little bit leggy like if i were to get one i would want a bunch of them in a planter so it's a little bit more full of a plant but i do love the polka dot um, leaves that's really nice and then we have some sago palms right here some zz plants right over here just a common green one nonetheless don't sleep on that it's an easy to care for plant and here's a nut another plant find so here is a nice this is actually a nice looking um alocasia um jacqueline look at how beautiful that is um i always think that it's unhealthy just because of the leaves it looks like there is a little bit yellowing now that one leaf on the bottom is going to definitely go i was really lucky to find a super healthy one it's doing very well for me and i'm glad that costa farms has the alocasias in a self-watering planter it makes it so much easier and takes the guessing work from watering them so you're not going to really overwater or underwater them and that's a really good thing that costa farms it it's probably going to have less plant casualties and then right over here we have some um raven zz's i'm going to pan over here and show you that there are so many plants available at this um Walmart and then right over here the classic aglonema red siam I love me some aglonema red siam just because look at how beautiful that is the stems are per, per, um, pink pink and it's just an easy to care for plant and in that while it's also in a self-watering planter you can't overwater them the only thing that will kill an aglonema or make it um, leggy or drop its leaves is the watering if you water it too much it definitely is not good for the aglonema but aglonema are unfortunately slower growers but they give you such beautiful patterns on the leaves and there's just hundreds of varieties of them um, Indonesia is a country that actually hybridizes a lot of aglonemas. So, you know, check those out. If you do a search on my Instagram, I actually follow some Indonesian aglonema pages and you can see that they have so many varieties. I do like this um, um, aglonema right over here. I'm actually considering buying this one today just because look at how beautiful the, the leaf is. It's got a mint color. And then so you can see that there are two, two different um types of variegation but the same plant this one actually has better variegation do you see that it's got so much more like yellow on it and then like also the stems are white i love white stem aglonema i think they're gorgeous and this one is definitely a showstopper this is one that i would most likely purchase today um those two aglonemas are really nice um i know that i have this one but not nearly to the the type of variegation and look at how healthy it is look at how full it is Look at how um, big it is compared to the other aglonema that's the same one that actually has a yellowing leaf. So um, I really love that Costa Farms has all of these aglonemas available. Although the one on the left, I don't know the plant ID. So somebody please let me know what it is. And then this is the traditional one that you will always see. This is an aglonema silver bay. Aglonema silver bay actually gets very large leaves as it grows. Um, it is a slower grower, but once it gets um, in size, it starts to actually accelerate its growth pace. But you can see, look at how beautiful that is. There are three aglonemas available at this wall so if you wanted to start an aglonema collection go to the prosper walmart because you'll get at least five different varieties look at that that one is an aglonema maria i don't know about the other three so i'm just going to put the plant ids next to it um, and then we have an aglonema red siam or aglonema um, siam aurora so these are definitely beautiful aglonema and then we're just going to pan out and have a commercial break so for those who don't um are that are new to the channel i actually do origami paper cranes this used to be an origami asmr channel and then i switched it back to plant channel but i did want to show you guys um how to make a paper crane um, it's super easy and the thing about it is I want to make 1 million paper cranes in my lifetime. I have been folding origami paper cranes for about 7 years and um, it's one of those
those things where it's very relaxing for me in japan if you fold 1000 paper cranes they are called senbasuru which means you can get one wish granted um and it's just really exciting to be able to fold so many paper cranes um i will show you guys my collection al alongside with my plants but i wanted to integrate some of my other hobbies things that i'm really interested in so when i do my house plant tour you will see a lot of my origami paper cranes in with my plants it's just how i style it but as you can see i am using an origami chiogami paper that has some um, traditional japanese print um, it's super easy to make these i have hundreds of videos to, um, for tutorials and hopefully you plant foldies will actually attempt to make a paper crane let me know how that goes for y'all but origami is the art of folding um, paper into different types of shapes and um, just creating something beautiful like this i am almost done so i can literally make a paper crane in 30 seconds but i've actually slowed it down a little bit let me know what you guys think i know that people have asked me to do some other origami and i will i just want to make sure my most recent plant foldies or my viewers are able to see how to make a paper crane so here you go it's super easy and ta-da now back to the um walmart out in prosper texas they have a bunch of large um, foliage leaf plants for 1984 outside um, so hopefully it doesn't get too sunny because i feel like some of these plants are just gonna um burn and we don't want that you know with the san severia they can tolerate low light conditions high light conditions now the Diefenbachia do like um bright indirect light but not full sun so hopefully these plants will be okay right now um it is there is an overcast so it's actually not super sunny but look at how large these um foliage plants are we've got majesty palms we've got some gorgeous gorgeous peace lilies or spathophyllum i love the texture of the leaves and then we have some more um majesty palms right over here i would say walmart has some really good sized plants for 1984 um, and that's one of those things like this is another Diefenbachia. Don't know the actual plant ID, but here we have some Ficus lorata or fiddle fig leaf trees. Really nice looking ones. I love the, um, the natural shine it has. We've got some more Dracaena and another Diefenbachia. I'm not 100% sure, but look at this. This one is actually happy and about to bloom. Found that very interesting. And then we have some more Diefenbachia right here. Not sure exactly what that plant ID is. So plant foldies let me know in the comments um what it is in the live chat if you know the plant id you guys have been super helpful and then for all the plant foldies just tuning in please make sure you guys smash the like button it really does help my um videos out um to give to more people but you can see right over here we've got a Diefenbachia sparkle this is actually one of my favorite Diefenbachias just because look at how um the contrast of the variegation is on that Diefenbachia I definitely want to add one to my collection Costa Farms has really outdone itself in just being able to provide us with so many cool plants that's why I love doing big box store plant shopping and what I find interesting is just being able to show you guys the plants that we have available at least in the North Dallas area and you can see they've got some of these hanging baskets right over here we've got a staghorn fern and then another Hoya Carnosa um, Crimson Princess I love this as well and then the more light you give these um, Hoyas you can get them sun stressed to where they have some more pinks and some of them will even turn like red in the foliage so I really like that these are for 1984 and then we have a staghorn fern right over here we have a bunch of um, tulips and different type bulb plants um, on sale for the outdoors because spring is just around the corner and then I did want to pan over here and show you how many large plants they have this prosper texas walmart has um did so much better in terms of just getting more plants i know the last time we visited they had some plants that were not looking so healthy so right over here we have a bunch of hanging baskets of epipremnum arium golden pothos um these are all by um garden expert which is the walmart brand for 1097 so that's not bad for a hanging basket although i would like to get more so the hanging baskets from costa farms exotic angels like this one right here is a pink wave phytonia it's a larger leaf um phytonia i love the pink veining of the the leaves it's just really nice and we have some more hanging baskets by costa farms right over here this one is a maiden hair vine so I think that's really cool. Although I don't think that's the maiden hair vine or that's not what it maybe it was mislabeled. Um, let me know in the comments if that's the correct plant ID. And then we have some more hanging baskets. We've seen this um, Begonia Rex hanging basket in this super nice looking Hoya hanging basket right over there. 
would love to get um, add some more Hoyas to my collection. Um, I'm looking for a Hoya Chelsea, and then we have more um, Ipipremno Arium um, Golden Pothos, and then we have some Skindapsis actually, and this is by Garden Expert for $10.97, and then we have some more Staghorn Ferns right over here. These are from Costa Farms. We got a um, Golden Pothos Hanging Basket by Costa Farms and then some more hanging baskets right over here let me know if you guys actually grow hanging baskets in your indoor space i love them um, i was able to get a command strip type hook that can hold up to 33 pounds and none of my um, plants have fallen i've had them for about two and a half weeks now um, i bought them on amazon for a really good deal so you don't have to drill holes into your ceiling i just didn't really want to do that but we've got a, a wide range of hanging baskets i think my favorite one right here would be the epi i'm not the the philodendron cordatum or philodendron heteraceum just a green form look at how beautiful the leaves are nice green foliage really love that and we have a neon pothos one this one isn't as perfect as the other one the other one i got from walmart was like very much yellow and neon very bright colors and then we have a hoya carnosa crimson princess but this walmart very exciting um to be able to visit it and i'm just really excited to see a full outdoor area with plants um and i'm gonna look over here they have some um you know overage here so we have another monster adansonii in a self-watering planter i really do like the um the wide um, forms and then we have some ficus ginseng bonsai right over here um we've got a philodendron pink i mean white princess really a nice looking variegation by growers bench this one actually has some really good variegation on the leaves but also the stems and remember a white princess um, philodendron has like pink uh, margins or stripes near its petioles and the stem so that's how you can tell a white knight versus a white princess and we have some diphenbachia right over here um, I just like that this um, Walmart was able to redeem itself because I mean this was a Walmart that also had an issue which is cold damaged plants maybe some of these plants were left out in in a pallet outside but now they've been able to like plant style this um, Walmart has gotten some great organization I love the alocasia this one is an alocasia poly this one I'm a little bit more weary about getting just because they tend to be a little bit more spider mite prone versus the typical alocasia and then we have some bromeliads right over here. And then it just wanted to show you some more of the alocasia. I think um, you guys were able to give me um, the correct plant ID for the last video. So I'm gonna go back and see if I can get that um, plant from the other Walmart off of Lake Road in McKinney. But right over here, these are alocasia ninjas. According to a plant foley, those are ninjas and not black velvet. So thank you for the correction on that. And that's the reason why I love showing you guys plant shopping videos. I get to meet a lot of you guys as well just via online and in the live chats um, and it's just really nice to learn from you um, we're learning from each other and hopefully our plant community continues to grow i'm trying my very best to have these live premieres it's something that i look forward to you know just being able to share my commentary about plants and then just seeing so many of our regular plant foldies join i really hope you guys can continue to invite people to my videos because like look at this right here we have got a beautiful philodendron pink princess this one has okay variegation but i feel like growers bench has released more philodendron pink princess with higher variegation so definitely be a little bit more selective especially for a philodendron pink princess because they are available in big box stores and i really like that that these plants are more readily available just for um, anybody not just for people who have a, a money to spend and then this one right here is some type of alocasia i don't know if that's also an alocasia black velvet or ninja somebody let me know in the comments and then we have some pineapple bromeliads these are all for 17.94 the um the bromeliads and we have some assorted succulents right over here we've got some gorgeous anthuriums and i do just like the traditional red ones um those are the most common but what i really like about them the most is look at how beautiful their foliage is their um their leaves are large and they just look super healthy and the prices at walmart are really good for an anthurium i know other big box stores like home depot and and um lowe's carry them but walmart is the one that has the best pricing for it and then right over here we have some kalanchoe red ones i do like the the red blooms on this kalanchoe and i didn't realize that kalanchoe are basically succulent type plants so once the blooms go away you just want to cut those back and then treat it just like a succulent um, you can touch the leaves they're a little bit more um you know rubbery almost like a hoya and yeah those are really cool 
This one right over here is just a really cute kind of cactus. These are for $3.97. I like the small assorted cactus and then I'll just kind of pan over the plant ID. I don't know a lot about cactus, cacti, and succulents, but I would love to get into them. Right now, I'm just more so into like the aeroids, philodendron type plants. But, you know, somebody said that once you start um, collecting succulents, you can't stop as well. So I definitely don't want to open that. We do have a bunch of grafted um, cactus right over here as well. And some really cool looking succulents right over here. Um, I like the assorted, it, you know, types of succulents. I would say Walmart probably has the best pricing for succulents as well. And I did want to pan over to this alocasia again. This one has a different leaf texture. Um, so somebody please let me know what alocasia this is. If you have the plant ID, because right now it's labeled as fancy alocasia. Um, so I want to know what that is. This is for $17.97. Um, it's not a bad price for alocasia and I'm just really happy that Growers Bench has a lot of some a lot of alocasias available. I didn't realize that I was able to grow alocasia without any problems. I mean, as of late, I haven't had any spider mites. They're growing very well. I'm bottom watering most of them and then the ones that are in a self watering planter are just thriving. What I do is I actually um spray my alocasia once a week with a neem oil type um, spray called from we the wild called protect i ended up buying it at a local plant nursery in prosper texas called um famous in oregon so it, it has really helped out a lot and it doesn't have that like neem oil smell it actually smells pretty good i spray that on all of my plants as a preventative you can actually buy it online on we the wild um, usa.com so def definitely check that out it's definitely a good um preventative that you can pr spray on your plants and it gives it a, a beautiful shine but look at how gorgeous all of these exotic angel plants are part of me is hoping that these will be bought up and they will find nice homes because these are very healthy looking plants and i'm just so excited to see philodendron golden crocodile available here these are nice um, looking philodendron crocodiles part of me wants to buy them again but again i my my budget i'm just going so broke buying plants but they do bring me a lot of joy i just i just wish i made a little bit more money to be able to sustain my plant hobby i have to be really respectful to my finances and just living situation but i wanted to pan out here and show you that this is another massive restock at walmart so i'm gonna try my very best to keep filming different walmarts within my area just to get everybody excited hopefully you guys will also get these plants and then for the local plant Foldies or um, viewer subscribers in the Dallas Fort Worth area, feel free to share your plant finds as well via Instagram. Follow me at GrowFolds, tag me, use the hashtag GrowFolds, hashtag PlantFoldies, and put these plant finds um, on there. We, I'd love to really connect with all of y'all, and I just really love this um, this Tradescanthia. And I did want to point out we found a Philodendron Tortum right over here by Costa Farms. We've got a um, Skindapsis Trubii Moonlight over here. These are all for $19.84. And then we have a beautiful Philodendron Golden Crocodile and a um, Trade Scanthia um, Roxo. Those are really nice, actually really nice um, next to each other because of such of um, the contrast. And then we have a Monstera Cobra or Stadliana right over here. A healthy looking Alocasia Jacqueline. That's really nice. So hopefully people will buy that up. And then we have a Begonia Maculata right over here. We've got um, a Monstera Peru right over here. So several Costa Farms trending tropicals available at this Walmart. So thankful to Costa Farms. Thank you so much for providing such beautiful plants. Um, and hopefully we will find more trending tropicals at other Walmarts. Now I wanted to pan over to this. So Sprouts is a local grocery store that I actually find plants at. Um, and this one is in McKinney, Texas. So we're going to see if they have any more plants for sale. I know I ended up getting some hanging basket planters from Live Trends of some Pothos and Cebu Blue Pothos. So I'm just going to walk in here and just see what kind of plants they have. I did think, I think I might end up just getting this, this Epipremnum Arium Enjoy. Love the Enjoy. I feel like I can just clean up some of the leaves. And these um, hanging baskets are on sale for $4. That is a steal considering the planter or the hanging basket um, pot is ceramic. And I am been, I've been able to like grow those. So I think I'm going to take that. And then they have some Hoya Trellis right over here in the shape of a heart. 
Um, these ones I think are for $11.99. That's not bad considering the terracotta planter and then the trellis and then just the gorgeous Hoya. You know, they're, they're getting ready for Valentine's Day. So there's going to be a lot of plants that are very much Valentine's times, um, theme. And, you know, Hoyas are great. I do like that. It's just a nice green Hoya on a trellis. I think that's super cute. It's not going to be my taste on what I would put in my, my plant collection, but nonetheless, that's really cute. And then obviously they have some jade plants right over here. It's like the, you know, Lunar New Year type deal. That's really nice as well. So they've got some jade plants. If I'm going to get a jade plant though, I've stated this before, I want to get a variegated jade plant. Although the jade plant right here looks really nice too. They're, they're very easy. Treat them just like succulents. And then we have right over here, um, some Philanopsis orchids. These are for $24.99. So you can't go to a grocery store and not find orchids. And we have some Pachira aquatica right over here or money tree plants for $16.99 in a braided form. I want a variegated money tree. I think that would be so cool, but I did want to pan over here and just show you these really cool um, Hoya trellises. Really nice. And then we do have some um, more plants here. I actually, actually, these are actually on sale. I thought they were for four dollars. They're actually for two ninety nine now, so they've reduced the price even more. Here's the thing about sprouts: if you're a local Dallas Fort Worth plant foldy, they do liquidate their plants, so they will definitely give deep, um, you know, discounts like this. This is for two ninety nine. I got all of this for two ninety nine. A hanging basket, a planter, and a beautiful um, plant. So I don't feel bad spending that. I think that is a good plant find. So this one is definitely gonna go home. I'm gonna definitely spray it with except insecticidal so put some systemic granules let it dry out water it some super thrive and then also put some um we the wild protect neem oil and then i'm good to go i might bring this to work actually and have it hang there or i might find another space to hang it in my um, my home um, i'm just really happy that i was able to find this for 2.99 you cannot beat that 2.99 for this when it was originally 11.99 and then um, we're gonna go back to this walmart real quick just to see um if it was fully restocked so this was the walmart i found the philodendron golden violin um the other day this was about you know this past tuesday so we're gonna walk in here this is me just you know leaving for work so it is late afternoon early evening so we're just gonna see what they have it'll be a very short video but as you can see they did get some more um plants right over here they finally got those round tables and yes they got a whole section of um plants right over here i think they don't have any more philodendron golden violin but i do like the fact that this place here has more plants i feel like they can actually take even more plants because they have an outdoor indoor greenhouse type section love these calatheas right over here these are all for 14.97 and a self-watering planter definitely um i'm a huge fan of it i might end up buying one actually and we just have some more trending tropicals they've got some um, aglonema maria right over here in a self-watering planter if you're not an aglonema fan please become one because they're so easy to grow and they're my favorite plants and we have an aglonema red siam right over here um, next to it there's a raphidophora tetrasperma trending tropical and we have an alocasia jacqueline right over here those are really nice so they ended up um, unpacking all of the other ones so there were actually more alocasia jacquelines at this location and a ton of uh, monstera Peru. So these are all for 1984, the trending tropicals. And we're just going to walk over here for a second and just kind of look at what other plants they have. They do have some more alocasias and some philodendron bean princess, but I do love this um, Diphenbachia maculata. Look at how highly variegated it is. It's almost white and it's just gorgeous. It does require a lot of bright indirect light. And we have some beautiful Spathophyllum or peace lilies here. These are for 1984 or something of that nature. Um, double check your prices, but if you are near a Walmart, especially in the Dallas Fort Worth area, double check your um, Walmarts to see if you've got some um, restocks because they pretty much get restocked about the same time. Like we have another. Um, Ficus Lorata over here, but my plant foldies, I do appreciate you guys tuning in to check out my plant finds in my videos. I'm hoping that I can film. Um, I do have a very busy weekend. I work this weekend, but I will try my very best to at least hit up a couple of Walmarts. Um, I'm trying to get you guys, you know, live premieres around 7, 7.30, 8, so they're a little bit earlier and we can get some more plant foldies. I'm hoping one day I'll be able to catch up and just have these pre-scheduled so that way it's easy for everybody to meet up and have a plant party. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.